So now let's import 3D objects inside of Element 3D. In order to import uh, 3D objects, you can go over here into Element Scene Setup and over here you can import 3D objects. So in order to import the 3D models, you have to go over here on to the model browser. You can see that this is the model browser and over here on to the right hand side, you can see this little arrow. So once you click on that, you can see that you have an option to import 3D object. So let me just click import 3D object and to import it, I'm going to go into my tutorial folder where I have saved my um, uh, my 3D object that I want to import. So I'm going to go into my element 3D folder and this is the 3D chat. This is the 3D object that I can import. So you can see that I can see two files. Although if you were to uh, go over here, these are the files that are supported. So one is OBJ and other is C4D that is native cinema 4D file, which is also supported by element 3D. Another one is the more universal OBJ files. Uh, there are also other uh, 3D file formats like Maya 3D file formats and 3ds Max file formats, which are, which are not supported by Element 3D, and that needs to be converted into an OBJ file if you want to import them out here. So I'm just going to select the OBJ file and open this up, and you can see that you have option to uh, work with uh, to import every. Uh, option right here. You can import the opacity setting, you can import the diffuse color, specular color and so forth. Let me just enable all of them. You can also import the bump file and so forth. I'm just gonna load all of them and press OK. And once you do that you can see that this is my 3D file and it has been imported right over here. So these are the cable. This is the cable as you can see. And this one is the lamp over here, just like that. So I'm gonna go into the preset, gonna go into the procedures, and let me just add in a realistic material to this. Uh, so I'm going to add in a uh, breast air metal right here. So you can see that this looks more shiny over here. You can have a gold lamp if you want. I'm just going to go over here into transparent objects, and I'm going to go into something like a clear object right here. So this doesn't look really uh, shiny and so forth. I'm just going to use a grass crack, a crack as well. So you got an old look right here. And you can see that you have the materials inside. So you can enable and disable the cord. So here is the cord. It's not very clear. So let me just enable the environment. So you can see that there's the cord here. So you can enable and disable the cord right here. I'm just going to disable that out because I do not want to import it. And over here you can see there's the grass crack, there's the contact, there's the bite and so forth which you can enable and disable right here. You can see that there's also the screw details right here which you can work with. There's also the dip, the bite, the contact, the glass rocks and so forth. So I'm just going to disable this out. Maybe I want to add in some different color onto it like a cola color, color onto this. So let me just click and drag. Right, so that's the cool color color. Let me just add in a milk color so it is much more vibrant. All right, there you go. So I can enable the glass bulb again, just like that. So that is how you can uh, replace it with the materials of your choice. And you can simply press OK. And that model will be imported on to the After Effects panel, as you can see right here. So let me just go over here on to camera, press OK. And I'm going to go on to my unified camera tool. Let me just click and drag this. Click and drag this inside. Click and drag it out. Just like this. Click and drag this out over here. Click and drag. And there you go. So there is um, all of the 3D object right here. Just like that. So that is how you can import the 3D model inside of uh, After Effects. Uh, using Element 3D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.